Hello and welcome. Uh, I've decided to put three more videos about how to uh, use uh, VPN servers and various other uh, internet service providers content uh, to your advantage. So video four, we talk about how to stream stroke download TV from other countries without using a VPN client. This helps improve your uh, download content speeds. Video five is how to set up a PTP uh, VPN or a private proxy. This is um, how you can update region locked country software or bypass uh, school or work restricted websites. You can also access your home network through the internet. Video 6 basically covers how to set up a v an open VPN um, client and basically that has the same advantages as video 5 but it is a more secure system however it's more difficult to set up. So this is video 5, it's talking about how to set up a PPTP VPN or a private proxy. You can use this setup to update a region or a country lot uh, software on a PC or a home network. You could use this system to bypass school or work restricted websites. You can also um, access your home network through the internet using this system. So in video 4 we talked about how to stream or download TV from another country. And we talked about how you could use a VPN provider or you could use a smart DNS service. In this video, video 5, we're going to talk about how to set up a PPTP as a server, how to set up a computer as a client, and how to set up a router as a client so you can connect other machines, for example computers or TVs, smart TVs, etc. to a PPT connection to give the impression you're in another country. So this video is based on the assumption that you have access to a computer via the internet in the country you wish to access. So if you wish to access US restricted content, you need to have access to a computer in the US and off a friend or a relative. So setup one is a diagram. We have computer one and we're going to call that IP address on the internet of 111.111.111.111. We're going to have a computer 2, which is the client, and we're just going to call computer 2's client internet addresses 222.222.222.222. We'll talk about how you get the IP address of the computer uh, server and the computer client in a minute. Setup 2 is a little bit more complicated, but same principle. You have server 1, sorry, computer 1, which is the server with the triple, the triple 1's IP addresses, and the the another computer connected to the internet via a DDWRT installed router with an IP address of all triple twos and then you've got a computer or a smart TV connected to that router. Setup 1 and 2 um, has computer 1 um, a server and the IP address for all the internal IP addresses for all the computers attached to um, router. The router are 192.168.0.2 in this case. So this is the internal network of the the server versus the external IP address, which is the triple ones. So that's very important to remember. So the computer address inside the network inside someone else's house in this case is 192.168.0.2 for the server. So how do you know the, your external IP address? Well, that's simple. If you go to an IP, uh, if you do type into Google, what is my IP address? Or you go to a website like ipchicken.com, it'll tell you the IP your IP address. In this example, we've just made it all triple ones to keep it simple. On your computer one, which is your server, you need to go to the control panel, then click on network and sharing center. Then you click on change adapter settings. Click on file, new incoming connection. Then you click on add someone. You then need to fill in the user, new user's details. In this case, we're called the username example, full name EG. We've put the password in and we confirm the password. We then click on OK. As you can see, we've now got a, a new person added to this account, and that person is example, and then eg in brackets. We then click on next. You then indicate in the tip box that people, this person will be connecting to your computer via a virtual private network or VPN. Click on next, and then you click on um, 
Internet Protocol version 4 and then click on Properties. So this is where the knowing the internal address system of the server is important. So the computer we said was 192.168.0.2. We're now saying that when the external computers attach, connect to the server via the internet, they'll be issued similar numbers. And in this case, we're saying that we're going to have this as 192.168.0.5 to .10. So any computer connected to the server will be allocated a number .5 or .6, .7, .8, .9 or .10. And remember to tick the boxes as indicated on the screen if they are not already ticked. Then click on Allow Access. So when you're back at your network uh, connection screen, you'll notice now we've got a new icon called Incoming Connections. And at the minute it says there's no connections, uh, client connections connected. So this is your server, computer one, your server machine in network connections. It's important to remember to allow the um, external computer to be able to access your server. On certain routers, for example, in a Netgear shown here, you need to change the settings of the firewalls so that the firewall will automatically reject any uh, person trying to connect to a computer inside the network. So you now need to say, yes, I do actually want people to be allowed to connect. So you click on inbound services. You then set the server up as a VPN PPTP and allow the um, people to connect and then click apply. As you can see now, we're saying that VPN PPTP is allowed to connect. And we're also telling the, the network router that the address of the server is 192.168.0.2 which is what we discussed at the beginning of the presentation. So on computer 2 in setup 1 which is basically having a computer client connecting to the server we go to the network and sharing center on the uh, through the, via the control panel on computer 2 we then click on change adapter settings we then say we want to connect to a workplace by, uh, by setting up a dial-up or VPN connection to your workplace. Click on use my internet connection in, as, as shown. And at this point we now enter in the, the IP address of the server. So this is the external IP address of the server, the address on the internet. And in this example we said it was triple ones. So that's what you put in. You put 111.111.111.111 in this internet address. You click on next and then finally you you have to put your username and password in and click connect. It will take a few minutes for, for the very first connection to um, set up. It will click on, it will start verifying the username and password. It will uh, look for different protocols. Eventually it will say you are connected and click. you're allowed to click on close. You will be then connected to your server. So on computer one, the server, you'll see that in the in control panel, you'll have incoming connections and one client connected. And it'll also show you who that one client is because obviously you might have multiple people dialing in. So um, in this case, it's telling you that the person dialing is EG. They're connected and they're connected via WAN and a uh, PPTP. So if you once you're set up in order to disconnect or connect again you have to go to the bottom right hand corner click on your Wi-Fi connection or your network icon and then you'll see there's a VPN connection click on the VPN connection right click and you'll have connect or disconnect as an option so when you want to disconnect obviously disconnect and when you want to reconnect again obviously click on connect you'll also after, you'll also see a, a connection VPN connection box on the first time you do it. You have to put in your username and password again. It, you'll also click on save settings so it will remember you next time. So, okay. You On computer 2, once you're connected, you'll notice when in the control panel in the network and sharing settings, you have a new connection in this core case called VPN connection 2. It'll also show you connected to multiple networks. Those multiple networks are your home network, in your, i.e. what you're using on your computer, 
and the person you you're at the server end so they they may have machines connected to their end so you're connected to their network as well so if you want to use setup version 2 which is a router instead of a computer as a client then you need to have DDWRT running you go into your DDWRT router click on setup and basic setup and on connection type you change your um, connection type from DHCP to PPTP you, you, you still use DHCP as the tick box is clicked is yes your WAN IP address is that in the top right hand corner as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen it's 192.168.1.128 you still put those that same number back into your WAN IP address you put your subnet mask in as, as 255.255.25.0 you put in your gateway PPTP server as the computer your server you're connecting to in this example we're saying all the triple ones the username is eg and the password is the password you set up if you then go to status and wan it will take a few minutes to uh, connect to the remote computer the remote server but eventually when it does connect it will show the IP address is 192.168.0.10 in our example because the internal network of the server how was in the 192.168.0. something range and we said we could have anything from dot five to dot ten and in this example we ended up with dot ten. You'll also notice that in the top right hand corner the number has changed to 192.168.0.10 as well. So now that we've got uh, the uh, two computers connected to each other, so the client computer is connected to the server computer or the client router is connected to the server computer it's important to understand why you can't use this setup to stream video but how you do use it to access restricted content from your say your work computer or your school computer or how you use it to update your software on your um, home smart TV or whatever so when your client computer accesses the internet was connected to um, a, the, v, the BP, PP, TP VPN the request comes out of the smart uh, out of the computer or the um, smart TV, which is number one there, to your router. The router then forwards it number two onto the internet, and it comes out of the modem router number three. Uh, sorry, onto the, your modem router number three at the server end. Again, it gets forwarded to your server computer number four. The computer then sends that request onto the internet, which is five and six. The information comes back from the internet, which is 7 and 8, and then the computer 1, the server, sends that information 9 and 10 back onto the internet, and 11 and 12 basically brings it back to your home, as uh, your work computer or your school computer, or the home computer if you're connecting to different countries. So, as you can see, there's a lot of information coming in, out, in and out of the server end of the uh, connection there. So, everything that's downloaded twice and everything gets uploaded twice at the server end and this means it's not particularly fast and therefore unless they've got very high speed internet connections it's unlikely you'll be able to stream video using this connection type so you can use this though to bypass um, internet uh, restrictions if you're at school or at work because effectively the, all the computer sees at work or at school is that you're connected to your home network it doesn't know actually know what you're doing whilst you're connected to your home network. Equally, though, you can download software if you uh, if you wish to, which is region locked. If your computer one, the server is in a different country. If you want to have a faster connection, theoretically, you should set up an open VPN uh, client and server. Uh, I'll be talking about that on video six. I have not done speed checks to compare them, but in theory it would be quicker to do so if speed is a, a priority. But however, setting up an open VPN client and server is much more difficult than a PPTP client and server. If you want to connect to your uh, a different network, so if if a computer one the server end of the router has, say for example, a hard disk connected to it or other smart things, then it works in a very similar way so this is accessing a network 
So compute it to the client, it will then you send a request to your to the um server one, which basically goes through number one, number two onto the internet, number three from the internet into the router, number four from the router to the server. The server then passes it on to the hard disk, for example, in this case going via five and six. The information from the hard disk comes from the hard disk goes seven, eight back into the server. Then the server sends that back to your client computer via 9, 10, 11, and 12. Again, as stated on the previous slide, that this system isn't necessarily the quickest, but it is, it is easy to set up. If, if speed is an issue, then you can set up an open VPN uh, connection, which in theory is quicker, but, but it takes longer and is more difficult to set up. So that concludes the videos. I hope it was useful to you and um, thank you very much.